Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Happy Power Channel. I hope you guys are all having a great day today. Today's date is 3-24-2020. It is currently 3 p.m. as I'm making today's video, and it looks like we have a whole bunch of brand new news topics. Now, if you guys have not gotten a chance to check out my previous video, I highly suggest doing so, as it talks about the brand new oral challenges, and as well as how to get 400,000 XP for absolutely free. You guys seem to really like that video, and I really do appreciate your support, so thank you guys so much for all the likes, and of course, welcome all my new subscribers from that video. But without further ado, let's just hop directly into today's Daily News Refresh. So, in the world of Fortnite collaborations, you guys most definitely know that Fortnite is now collaborating with Travis Scott, and we really have not gotten that much information aside from this stuff in the background video. A possible leaked skin, and of course, this is now new today. So Donald Mustard is now following Travis Scott over on Twitter. If you guys do not know, Donald Mustard works for Epic Games and Fortnite, and his job description is actually the Worldwide Creative Director of Epic Games and Fortnite. So he's actually quite significant. We see numerous times in the past where he has teased in his actual uh, location, his name, and of course tweets of possible upcoming collaborations, and now that he is following Travis Scott, we should definitely expect this collaboration to take off relatively soon. So pretty awesome stuff right there. I know a lot of guys keep asking, yo, is there new stuff about Travis Scott? Was there anything new in today's update about Travis Scott? And unfortunately, no, but today he has recently followed Travis Scott over on Twitter. So we should definitely be expecting an update relatively soon. And like always, we'll try to keep you guys updated as much as possible. So if you're new around here, I suggest liking today's video as well as subscribing with notifications on to keep up to date with all Fortnite collaborations. On to our next topic, I want to actually cover Oro once again because a big question has now arisen in the Fortnite community. Is Oro actually the secret skin with Inside Chapter 2 Season 2? And yeah, I definitely think that's actually the case. I think that Deadpool is definitely a great promotional piece for the upcoming Deadpool movie and Deadpool in general. However, I do not think it's actually the secret skin like it's been teased out and actually pretty much told to us on the Fortnite pages and the Fortnite Battle Pass. I mean, it's not a secret skin. We see him all the time in the Fortnite lobby. I mean, he even has his own personalized, like, room and all that crazy stuff. So, obviously, he is not the secret skin. And I think that Oro actually is a secret skin because it was leaked all the way back in Chapter 2, Season 1. And we had no idea what it's actually going to be for, but it looks like it is now discovered that he's going to have a brand new set of challenge that is called Awaken Oro. And you guys actually get some free stuff with this and 400,000 XP just for completing these challenges. So I really do think that Oro is definitely the secret skin for this season, which would make his release relatively soon actually. I mean, season 2 is not that far from ending from today's date. So what are your thoughts about this down below? Do you guys also think that Oro is this season's secret skin, or do you guys feel it is just to be another challenge skin where when you guys buy from the item shop, you actually get a whole set of challenges to unlock some free rewards? That is definitely a possibility, however, I do not think that's the case. Now to learn more about Oro and of course see a full in-game showcase of his free rewards, the first link in the description down below is from my previous video where we discovered and talked about and showed all Oro's brand new leaks. Moving into our next Fortnite topic coming from Dexthero.com, as well as Tifu, it looks like he wants to move closer to the Fortnite servers to get zero ping. I'm not quite sure if this is a good idea considering the game is most definitely not in its prime. But let's see what Tifu has to say about this. Roll the clip. I forget where. Kind of like outside of DC, in between like DC and like uh... Those Where's the, the servers at? The other games. Servers are at. I forget the name. It's, it's not there. Richmond, is it? It's no. with an A. No, it's, uh, Ashburn. Dude, they actually have a crazy <laughs> nice house. It's like, you just gotta live where there's good low. Alright, so in his words, he says this place that's near the Fortnite servers is a beautiful place. It's got beautiful homes, and it also might help him, you know, in the competitive matches. This actually might be a great idea for him to reclimb the Fortnite ladder and pretty much retake over the competitive side. So hey, if it's going to work for him and actually in return make him a lot of money in the competitive scene, by all means definitely do so. However, the game is most definitely stale at this very second. We haven't really seen some brand new updates in a very long time, and Epic Games is still not giving us a very good storyline or even a single live event just yet. Which it actually might change because of course, the oral challenges are now called Awaken Oro, so I do believe there actually might be some lore behind this and Oro might be waking up from his slumber and either attacking Midas or something else, but I'll save that for a future video. Moving into our next Fortnite topic, also revolving around Tifu, it looks like he accidentally killed Tom Brady in a public match. So over on Instagram, Tom Brady just posted this on his story. Tifu is a goat, and it shows that Tifu has now killed them within the game, and it looks like Tifu has acknowledged this and said, well, his head is exploding. 
which yeah, my head would be exploding as well. I mean, imagine killing Tom Brady in a random match in Fortnite and then him posting it over on his story. Definitely a monumental achievement by Tfue. So pretty awesome stuff right there. Moving into our next Fortnite topic, coming directly from Donald Mustard, he had this to say upon Gravity Falls, and guys, don't worry, we'll be talking about a possible collaboration in just a few seconds. How am I now just discovering Gravity Falls? My daughter and I are finishing up Season 2 now. One of the best things ever, like ever, I bow to you at Alex Hirish, and Alex is the creator of Gravity Falls. And Drew had this to say, Gravity Falls collaboration, I am joking by the way, but is he actually joking and is there some truth behind this possible collaboration? Although Donald Buster does in fact say he has never watched it before, if we take a look at all the similarities between Gravity Falls and Fortnite, we can most definitely tell there's a lot of similarities, I mean it's almost the exact same thing in a lot of ways. Whether it's the characters, the shape of buildings, or the sky in general, and even live events, they all seem to line up perfectly. Now this could be one major coincidence, however, it does not appear that way. It just seems like too much of a coincidence. So there is a possible collaboration in the near future, considering Donald Mustard who creates Fortnite content and for Epic Games, is now being friendly to the creator of Gravity Falls, we could be seeing a collaboration in the near future. But, do not get your hopes up too high, that is just simply, of course, Speculation going off of these tweets alone. Moving into our next Fortnite topic, talking about collaborations, could we be seeing a Fortnite X Animal Crossing New Horizons? Animal Crossing right now is probably the number one game, especially on Switch. I've seen so many people talking about this. Even Fortnite players have now switched over just simply to play this just because they're in quarantine and they want to have something to do. So there actually is a lot of speculation that this could become a collaboration in the near future because Animal Crossing is a child-friendly game, and also it's Fortnite, so we could actually be seeing a possible collaboration, and a whole bunch of people have now been making concepts around this possible collaboration. So coming directly from Reddit, someone made an actual, someone made this brand new rap, and yeah, it looks pretty dang awesome. I posted this on my Twitter to see your reactions, and man, you guys really liked it, so there is a possibility this could become an actual reality in the near future. Also, Cool Stray over on Twitter made this concept of a possible skin, back bling, and harvesting tool, and yeah, again, looks pretty dang awesome. And last but not least, within the game itself, apparently you actually can make your own personalized images, and obviously a lot of people are now making Fortnite images. So we have Team Shadow and Midas' logo recreated in Animal Crossing. So it looks like people are actually thinking about this could be a collaboration, or even trying to convince Fortnite and Epic Games to make this a possible collaboration in the near future. What do you guys think about this down below? Would you guys actually want this collaboration, or would it be completely stupid? Leave your opinions down below. Hey guys, sorry for interrupting, but it looks like I forgot to add one single topic that's actually quite significant. After 11 days of the Fortnite deadline to remove the legacy look options, it looks like moments ago a brand new hotfix has now been enabled to disable legacy look options. So just a quick note, I do apologize, but let's get back to today's video. Moving into our next Fortnite topic, coming directly from Space Lion, he had this to say. The Fortnite community really has really changed. It was all about supporting each other and helping the game grow in the beginning. Now it's filled with 13 year old kids that think they are the crap. Stop trying to bring me down and focus on yourself, thanks. And then Dr. Lupo responded to this and said this. Don't forget, the Fortnite community is more than that little circle of idiocy. More than a couple toxic, forgettable people that did well in the cash cup or two. It's full of good people that are proud of you. Fans, friends, and more. Heart heart. And yeah, uh, honestly, the Fortnite community is definitely taking a massive tank. I don't know what's going on, but views, likes, subscribers, all that stuff is down for Fortnite YouTubers, so I do believe Fortnite has now plateaued, and we're probably seeing a slow decline from this point on because Epic Games is not updating as much as they used to be. So hopefully they watch this video and update the game more often. And now for our last and final Fortnite topic, it looks like we have a brand new glitch coming directly from Reddit where you guys can actually go into autopilot and the brand new Chopper helicopter. So, roll the clip. Alright, so on screen was a small tutorial, so I did not feel like I had to commentate over it, but in case you guys need some help, there will be a full link to the article down below. Now, as far as today's video goes, unfortunately, that's all we have for you guys as of right now. This video was actually pretty action-packed, but I do have for you guys a lot more stuff to discover in tomorrow's video, so make sure you guys are in fact subscribed with notifications on. It looks like I've been losing a lot of subs every single day, and I'm really not sure why, so leave some comments down below on what you guys want to see change on this YouTube channel. 
new intro, new outro, a new outlook, different ways to commentate, stuff like that. Thank you guys so much as always, I hope you guys have a great day, stay safe, stay clean, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's videos.